Hello children, welcome to your science class. I hope all of you have watched our last class. What did we learn last class? Yes, we learned about leaf, venation, type of venation and the relationship between venation and type of roots. Hope all of you understood what I have taught you last class. And teacher have given you a homework, isn't it? So first let's discuss the homework. The homework was to find the answer for multiple choice questions given in page number 64. Teacher will read the question. You have to loudly answer. The first question is. The flat green portion of the leaf is called dash. The flat green portion of the leaf is called dash. The options are A. Lamina B. Stalk C. Midrib and D. Vein So children, what is the answer for this question? Yes, the flat green portion of leaf is called Yes, Lamina A is the answer Now the second question The arrangement of veins on Lamina is called Dash the arrangement of veins on lamina is called A is leaf base B venation C margin and D petiole So children what is your answer? Yes the arrangement of veins on lamina is called venation so I hope all of you have got the right answers. So I hope all of you got the correct answers. Now let's continue our class. In today's class we are going to learn about the function of leaves. Function of leaf. You may be knowing few function of the leaves, isn't it? In today's class, we will learn about three function that is performed by the leaves. The first function is learned in the last class that leaves are called the kitchen of plant. Do you remember? And teacher have told why leaves are called the kitchen of plants. Because they prepare the food for the plants. So the first function of leaves is manufacture of food. First function manufacture food. We all need food for the survival. Likewise plants also prepare food for their existence. Plants prepare their food with the help of sunlight, water, carbon dioxide and minerals. So plants prepare food by using water, carbon dioxide, sunlight, and minerals. These are the components used by the plants in order to prepare their food. Sunlight provides energy for the preparation of the food. Sunlight is trapped in chlorophyll. Sunlight is trapped in chlorophyll of the leaves. Sunlight is trapped in chlorophyll present in the leaf. The plants prepare food in the form of glucose. So the plant have a simple form of sugar that is glucose. And the process of making food by green plants is called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is a combination of the words photo and synthesis. The word photo means light, 
and the word synthesis means putting together putting together so photosynthesis is the process of conversion of this components into glucose and that is how the green plants are preparing their food the photosynthesis is a combination of two words the first word is photo which means light and synthesis means putting together the first function of leaf is manufacture of food and plants prepare food by the components like water carbon dioxide sunlight and minerals sunlight is used as the energy for the process the sunlight is trapped in chlorophyll of the leaf plants convert this components into simple form of sugar called glucose and process of conversion of this components into glucose is called photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process by which the green plants produce their food photosynthesis is a combination of two words the first one is photo which means light and synthesis means putting together during photosynthesis what happens is plants take carbon dioxide and convert it into oxygen take carbon dioxide and convert it into oxygen and as a result of photosynthesis glucose is produced and this glucose is used by the plants in order to perform other activities and excess glucose is stored in the leaves of the plants as starch excess that means if more glucose is produced by the plant that glucose is converted into starch that glucose is converted into starch and is stored in leaves so now we have learned one function of leaf that is manufacturing the food the plants prepare the food materials using water carbon dioxide sunlight and minerals sunlight act as the energy for the preparation of food and sunlight is absorbed by chlorophylls present in the leaf this components is converted into simple sugar form that is glucose process of conversion of this components into glucose is called photosynthesis it is the process by which the green plants produce the food photosynthesis is the combination of two words first word is photo and second word is synthesis the word photo means light and the word synthesis means putting together the green plants take the carbon dioxide and releases and releases the oxygen the excess glucose present in the plant is stored as starch in the leaves now let's go through our textbook page number 61 so we'll read the portion you have to underline and mark the important points yes the function of leaves first function manufacture of food plants prepare their food in the presence of sunlight chlorophyll with the help of water minerals and carbon dioxide chlorophyll traps the sunlight sunlight provides energy to the plants for making food this plant food is a kind of simple sugar called glucose this process of making food by green plants is called photosynthesis photo means light and synthesis means putting together during photosynthesis leaf release oxygen the glucose produced in this process of photosynthesis is used is utilized by the plants for performing various activities excess glucose is stored in leaf as starch and here is an equation of photosynthesis that is carbon dioxide combines with water in the presence of energy that is sunlight in chlorophyll 
to produce glucose and oxygen. A diagram is given in your textbook representing the photosynthesis in plants and the equation of photosynthesis is given in a blue box that is carbon dioxide is getting combined to the water in presence of energy that is sunlight and this, and this reaction is happening in chlorophyll of the leaves. Carbon dioxide and water combines to form glucose and oxygen. Also an experiment is given in your textbook which we should do in our class. This experiment proves that excess starch materials is stored in the leaf of the plants. Let's watch the experiment using DG. Six. To show that green leaves produce starch during photosynthesis, things needed a leaf, spirit, a beaker, test tube, test tube holder, banner, iodine solution, tripod stand with wire gauze, method, green leaf and boil it in water. Now put the leaf in a test tube and pour spirit to completely cover the leaf. Put the test tube in a beaker half filled with water. Heat the beaker till all the color from the leaf comes out into the spirit in the test tube. process of removing green color from the leaf is called bleaching. After bleaching, wash the leaf in cold water. Put the leaf on a plate and pour a few drops of iodine solution on it. Observation. What do we see? The leaf turns blue-black in color. Conclusion Green leaves make starch during photosynthesis. This experiment proves that sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis. Now let's discuss the second function of leaf. It is exchange of gases. Second function Exchange of Gases. Plants breathe with the help of leaves. When we learn about the first function of the leaf that is manufacture of the food, we learn the plants take carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Isn't it? So this exchange of gas is happening through leaves. And there are numerous special openings on leaves called stomata. Stomata. So the exchange of gases happens through stomata and stomata is seen on the lower surface of the leaf. I seen on the lower surface of leaf. During photosynthesis, the carbon dioxide enters to the green leaves and do during respiration, the oxygen is released from the leaves. So this is how the gaseous exchange happens. The carbon dioxide enters to the leaves through the lower surface openings called stomata in the process photosynthesis and oxygen is released from the leaves during respiration. There are also small openings called lenticels. These small openings present in old stem also help in gaseous exchange. Lenticels are present in old stem or bark of the trees. Plants breathe with the help of leaves. Leaves have numerous tiny openings called stomata. On the lower surface, the exchange of gases takes place through stomata. 
during photosynthesis carbon dioxide enters the leaves and oxygen gives out whereas during respiration oxygen enters the leaves and carbon dioxide is given out the small openings called lenticels present in old stem also help in gaseous exchange now we will learn the third function of leaf that is transpiration plants absorb plenty of water from the soil whereas it needs only very few or little amount of water the rest of water is released out to the atmosphere as vapors this process of loss of water is called transpiration and this transpiration occurs through stomata stomata are the tiny openings present in the lower region of the leaves and this stomata helps in transpiration so what is transpiration transpiration is the loss of water through stomata the excess water present in the plant is released to the atmosphere as vapors and this process is called transpiration now how does transpiration helps the plants yes we can relate the transpiration process with the sweating process of our body so what happens when you sweat when we sweat our body gets a cooling effect isn't it so likewise transpiration also provide a cooling to the plant helps in cooling now the second now the second advantage is when plant loses water by transpiration it will require more water and minerals isn't it for example when our body loses water by sweat we will drink more water isn't it so like so likewise when plant loses water it will it will conduct more water and minerals from soil advantage of transpiration is it helps in conduction of water and minerals conduction of water and minerals so the third function of leaf is transpiration loss of water through stomata is called transpiration and transpiration help the plant in cooling and it also help the plant in conduction of water and minerals let's read your textbook transpiration the plant absorb plant absorb a lot of water from the soil but very little water is used up in photosynthesis the rest of water is lost to the atmosphere in the form of water vapor through stomata transpiration helps the plant in the following ways first one is cooling of the plant body and second one is and second one is help in the conduction of water and minerals now there is one more experiment given in your textbook page number 63 we'll demonstrate the experiment using dg video activity 7 to demonstrate that water is given off during transpiration things needed a potted plant two polythene bags Badly. Method: Take a recently watered potted plant. Cover a leaf of the plant with vaseline or grease. Tie a polythene bag around the leaf. Cover another leaf with another polythene bag. Do not apply vaseline on the leaf. Keep the potted plant in sunlight for a few hours and then observe. Observation: The inside of the polythene bag of the leaf without vaseline will have droplets of water the other polythene bag with the leaf with the vaseline will not have water droplets conclusion water is given out by the leaves in the form of water vapor through the stomata by the process of transpiration the leaf covered with vaseline could not give out water because its stomata were blocked by vaseline so children hope all of you have understood what i have taught you today 
kindly comment your response and also feel free to ask doubts. In next class, we will learn about other functions of leaves. See you next class. Thank you.